Because what I've said in the previous slide is a controversial issue, I want just to emphasize more why inheriting haram is halal. Number one, according to the Islamic principles, al-haram la yantaqilu ila dhimmatayn. So the prohibited ownership does not transfer in such an inheritance transaction. Whosoever generated the money, that money is prohibited for him because of the way that he generated the money. But that unlawfulness is not transferable from that individual to others. This is number one. And number two, with the assumption that this haram money is coming from or was coming from interest, which means that the deceased was lending other people money with interest and he generated a lot of interest. There is no legal owner of the interest money because those borrowers who borrowed money from the deceased during his lifetime were paying him interest out of their own will. So the legal owner of that money is the deceased and the deceased already passed away. So his legal heirs are by default actually the owners of that of that money. So the prohibition based on this analysis, the prohibition would be upon the collector of interest and would not extend to the inheritors or to the legal heirs.